Hey folks, Damon Dog here. You'll see the uh, free version does basic backups and restores. Just pause if you need to really see the uh, options. The pro versions add multiple backups, encryption, uh, Dropbox ability, uh, Market Doctor, and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, well worth the money. Anyway, yes, you're going to need Root. And um, once you uh, hit menu and bring up your options, you can hit batch. And you'll see you can uh, back up all your apps, um, including your system, um, to uh, recovery of system and or your regular apps. Currently, I don't have any of my system apps backed up. That's why you'll see a bunch of zeros. Uh, and the reason for that is that when I'm switching ROMs, it's just easier to do a full recovery um, without worrying about any type of system because the ROM is going to bring those to the table. The other thing you might want to do is go ahead and schedule uh, some backups a couple times a week. Uh, two times a week is good enough for me. Usually if I install a ROM, I'll go ahead and do a full backup with or without system depending on, you know, what ROM I'm loading. Now I currently don't have any bloatware but I can freeze a application I don't need. Uh, let's use Advanced Task Killer here. Go ahead and click freeze. Um, it'll turn blue noting that it is frozen and yet I still see it in my application but if I click on it it won't run. Next time the phone boots you won't see it. Let's open up preferences and the other thing you might use a lot is the market doctor. Now when you run this it'll basically scan your current apps and attach them back to the market. Uh, sometimes when you're flipping, out, flipping around ROMs it'll, it'll disassociate them and this will correct it. Uh, currently I don't have any problems or issues so nothing's to be done. Another reason I like Titanium Pro is the ability to clean the decache. Um, a lot of apps will leave, you know, dirty caches in this cache area and this will easily delete it. It'll look at your current apps and realize you don't need those caches. If we look at the um, preferences here, you'll see we can enable Dropbox. A Dropbox is another program you'd have to download and configure. Um, you can also enable encryption. But the only reason, the only one you really need to worry about is the um, Chuck Norris mode. This will take those hard to get out uh, system apps or bloatware that uh, Motorola is kind of famous for. Um, that's about it there. Let's go back to the program. Okay, let's talk about uh, these batch recoveries. Um, if we run one, you'll see it doesn't actually run right away. It'll bring up another menu and let's restore all apps with data and um, I'll typically deselect these and then handpick the ones I want to reinstall. Um, one of the advantages of not keeping systems uh, system apps backed up is it allows you to just restore all and and not have to handpick them. Lastly, filters. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. If I want to see all the frozen ones, I'd just click frozen, apply, and that would show my current frozen apps. As always, if you have any questions on this or anything else, head on over to the DroidX forums, and I'm sure someone will be glad to help you out. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.